Hey you guys, it is I, Hellgear. And I have some very disheartening news to talk about. And this is very disheartening news because uh, I was not looking forward to posting this video. Especially of this subject matter because I've done it of this subject matter once before. But now I have to do it again. So, here's the thing. On Sunday, I had a little bit of a problem with my tablet. To those of you who don't know, the tablet that I use right now is not the RCA tablet that I had from before. I have a new tablet. I got a new tablet back in June of last year. It's a Samsung S5e tablet that runs on Android, of course. Just to give you guys premise, you know, paint the picture. So, I went to go charge my tablet and my tablet's been being a jerk when it comes to charging because when you plug it in it doesn't want to act like it's getting a full charge so when I plugged in my tablet to its charger not only is it not charging but as I plug it in it actually pushes out the adapter to my charger so that whole port is just pushing out the plug adapters. And it's not just the adapter for my charger, it's also the adapter I use for my HDMI. So it wasn't even reading that and it wasn't even charge. Even when I put the charger in and hold it down, it just does not charge. It says gives you the check your charger connection thing. And that's a problem because right now my tablet's like 45%. So I took to looking for to how to solve this issue. And I saw a video of various things to try. You know, resetting settings to default didn't work. Popping out the SD card, which there isn't one in my tablet, so that didn't work. A hard reset of the tablet didn't work. And cleaning out the port with compressed air. And believe me, I didn't just clean out the port of the tablet, but the port of the HDMI adapter and the charging adapter with the compressed air. And I know because I actually called <laughs> Home Depot, right, to get this can of compressed air. They said there were 25 of them in stock. Mind you, I get there 20 minutes later, go down the aisle, well, I get into the Home Depot 20 minutes later because, you know, social distancing and not many people could go into these stores, right? Thank you, Home Depot, for being open as a necessity store because people got to make repairs on their houses and stuff like that. I look in the area, don't see the can. I ask someone else, okay, check this aisle. I go there, don't see the can. So I ask again, oh, it's in this area. I was like, well, which area? Yeah, it's over here. And he pulls it up on the screen what the can looks like. So I go back over there and I find the can. And it's one of two remaining. Mind you, 20 minutes before, I called the store and they said they had 25 cans. It's amazing how in the span of 20 minutes, a stock of 25 cans of compressed air goes down to two. Thank goodness I bought one. And even through that, nothing. So, I'm going to have to contact customer support. They're currently closed right now because customer support is in Jersey. And... <laughs> It's almost, what, 9 o'clock EST? Or, not EST, E... Well, yeah, EST, standard time. So, I'll have to call them tomorrow. And since things are charging, and the fact that I don't want my battery to run out, even though it has like 11 hours remaining, I can't do any of my mobile action. So, how does this affect the channel? 
Well, this affects the channel in a couple of ways. To those of you who don't know, many of the games that I play on the channel are mobile games. And with my tablet acting the way it is, I can't play these games. So this affects the playlists of Shuriken Master, Pump It Up M, Dr. Mario World, Mario Kart Tour, <laughs> Merge Dragons, all three Smurfs games, Epic Run, Village, and Bubble Story, as well as Snoopy's Town Tale, Sky Champ, <laughs> and Panda Clip the Black Thief. So until my tablet issues are resolved, I can't update any of these playlists. Because again, I play them on my tablet. And it sucks really hard for three, actually no, five of these playlists. Pump It Up M, I was supposed to record an update video for you guys. And now I can't even do that. Mario Kart Tour. This is the last day of the Hammer Brothers Tour. And the Yoshi Tour starts tomorrow. I didn't even finish the last two cups of the Hammer Brothers Tour. I was supposed to do that today for you guys. And it's Tuesday, which means Town Tale Tuesday. A.K.A. Snoopy's Town Tale. And they just released a new character with the Easter event that's going to be one month long. And I won't be able to record this for you guys. I didn't even get to update Shuriken Master for all of you. And most importantly, I can't really do an up, well, another video for Panda Clip the Black Thief. Thank goodness I did an update video for Sky Champ, even though I just recently summoned my fiery tails in that, just to give you guys a loner. So, I might as well talk about what's going on in these games. And I'll talk aforementioned with Snoopy's Town Tale. The Easter event has started. They just released another character, which is one of uh, Woodstock's Beagle Scout birds. And the event's going to be on for a month. But I can't do video for that, which is, hurts really bad. I just found out earlier today that Smurfs Village just dropped their Easter update. So I can't even do that. Panda Clip the Black Thief, I managed to get some info from their Discord server. I told you about the issues that they were doing, but they have spoke a little bit more. Apparently, they're adding, one, a co-op mode, so you can actually do the stages online with your friends, in addition to working on the second chapter, and which is two, and three, they're adding a marriage system to the game where you can actually propose to one of the four girls in the game. A, or as they said politely, you propose to Neva since she's the oldest. So, I'm going to be butt cracked out on that one. Now, how does this affect the channel? Well, just because I can't post any more new mobile game content doesn't mean I don't have anything for you guys. So, now would be a good time to talk about the current things that I'm playing. Like Sydney Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan. I've been rather enjoying this game. I've been playing it regularly. So, I can still upload content of Sydney Hunter for all of you. Another game that is not on mobile, even though you can get it on mobile devices, but I have it on my console, is Earth Knight. I just recently started playing that, been enjoying that, actually had one hell of a run too on Earth Knight during, you know, for practice. I now have a better understanding of how to uh, survive in this game, which is great. There's also Horizon Chase Turbo. I can still play this game for you guys because, again, it's on my Switch. I can still play that. 
So, there is still content to be had and there are some uh, interesting things coming up content-wise that I want to do. One of them is an interesting little game on the Nintendo Switch that has just recently been announced in the Nintendo Direct Mini, and that is Ninjala. Nin yes, Ninjala. Or as many of us in social media world are seeing it as the Splatoon that is combat based and not shooting, but more weapon samurai ninjutsu based. That is going to look so damn good. It looks great. And the Ninjala development team recently dropped the episode zero explaining what's going on. As well as have their website, which is Play Ninjala. Actually, no, that's the name of their Twitter page, Play Ninjala. But ninjalathegame.com has its website. And they said not only is this going to be releasing on May 27th of this year for the Switch, they're releasing it for free! Ah, it's gonna be a free game. I just want to know when they're going to do the open beta testing for that because when they do, I plan on getting in on that action. I'm just letting you guys know right now. I plan on getting in on that Ninjala action. Well, I guess I could play some more Splatoon 2 and Mario Tennis Open for you guys. I mean, I have options, which is good. And then there's one other particular thing that I want to play on the channel. As old school, but it is sort of relevant in today's universe. And then, of course, I am still on the lookout for more Yu Gi Oh! content, which I gotta get to my Yu Gi Oh! content, man. I might just get Legacy of the Duelist. I have to check like a Target or something for that because um, that is on the Switch, and I can play that on the Switch for you guys. So, I gotta deal with my tablet woes. Hopefully they won't last forever. Hopefully I don't have to uh, buy another tablet because this one, this tablet is so good and it costs a lot of money, man. You know, tablets, you know, these good tablets are not cheap. They, this one actually cost a lot of money. It was, and even though it was a lot of money. It is actually the cheapest for the lot of money. The one, the, the top of the grade tablet was like 1200 bucks, and I'm like, uh, no, I'm not spending a rack and a fifth on a tablet. Especially if it's not made out of gold and, uh, giving up happy endings or whatnot for all the games that you play. Nah, this Samsung tablet that I got, that cost 400 bucks, man. And I thought me paying 400 bucks for that was bad. But then I see other people on YouTube who got that and they paid 400 bucks. And I'm like, okay, I feel better. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I stand right now. So, if you have any uh, suggestions on how I can alleviate these issues, if you have this same Samsung S5e tablet, tell me in the comment section below. It's worth a shot. Also, there will be more console-based content on its way. So I hope you guys have a lookout for it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.